the eight and six Dallas Cowboys face the five and nine Tampa Bay Buccaneers in week 16 of the NFL. The Cowboys are favored by a touchdown, 7.5 to be exact. The Cowboys have been fantastic. They've been very good at home with a six and one record. However, there are some similarities between both of the teams. Both Cowboys and Buccaneers have something in common they both have defeated the New Orleans Saints this season. Huge implications are riding on the outcome of this game. The NFC East crown is on the line. Zeke has not scored a touchdown in two weeks. Will Dak Prescott prove his haters wrong and Mark Holmes right? Will the Cowboys show out or shut out? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball. Z. Man, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to TGK TV. This is your host, or uh, your boy, TGK. I couldn't wait to get back on here. I've been waiting all day to do a video. Uh, so it's going to come a little later than what I usually do at 7, 8 p.m. upload. So it's going to be more like a 9, 10 p.m. upload. But look, I hope y'all enjoyed that intro. I was uh, had to get that footage a certain way when I was going through downtown Dallas today. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you caught that little Easter egg, the little shot that I threw. You know, there's a shot, fired, you know, I threw some shots. But hey, today we're going to talk about the Dallas Cowboys versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the predictions, expectations, and preferences. So, let's start it off right off the top. I'm not going to play around and tell you the stats of what their defensive rank versus what their offensive rank. We know the Tampa Bay Buccaneers... Uh, pretty potent offensively. They got a lot of weapons on that on that side of the ball over there. Jameis Winston can be hit or miss, and but when he's hitting, he's hitting, and when he's missing, he's missing. And they do pose a threat to us offensively. However, we got a great defense, and that great defense plays really good at home. So I, I feel like the Cowboys can neutralize them from a defensive perspective. Now, the the biggest part of the problem with this game is. And, and there's also the reason why I titled it predictions, expectations, and preferences is that I want the game to be a certain way, but I expect it to go a certain way, but I'm going to predict it to go a certain way. You get what I'm saying? It's going to be interesting. So let, 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 let's just get into it, right? I fully expect the Cowboys to beat the Buccaneers. It should be a really easy win, barring some sort of travesty. <laughs> we should come out with a W and we should be crowned NFC East champions. Hey, there's a silver lining in all this. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into my prediction side of this argument. I fully predict that the Cowboys are going to win, as I said it before. However, I think I think that we're going to pull. We're, it's going to be this victory is going to be like pulling teeth. It's going to be real tough as far as our offensive game is going to be in this game. You know? No, you don't know. I'm not explaining well. All right, let me explain well. I think in the first quarter, Dak might get off to a hot start, get a touchdown right off the bat, and then it's going to slow down midway through the first. It's going to slow down in the second. It's going to be dead in the third, and then Dak will pick it up in the fourth and close the game out. That's what I predict that's going to happen. What, and I don't think there's anything else to add that, to that prediction. I just think it's not going to be a, an impressive victory. It's going to be a victory, and it's going to be one in the fourth quarter. Um... The, the 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 line is I think they're supposed to score a combined score of forty eight point five so um, I'm guessing it's gonna be twenty seven twenty something like that um, but that that's the that's what the Vegas lines are uh, I just don't see it being a, a really impressive victory that's the prediction now what I expect because we have Zeke Elliott he hasn't scored a touchdown in two weeks. And this defense is coming back from being embarrassed, and the offense is embarrassed, and and they're really pretty pretty much mad coming into this game. What I expect is that I expect this team to be hitting on all cylinders. They're gonna be firing from everywhere. Dak ain't gonna have to do much because Zeke's gonna be killing it. Um, I say Dak will probably have you know one of those 15 for 20 for 215 yards with a touchdown, and Zeke will finally get in the end zone, and it should be a blowout like. 35 to 17, that's what the score should be. That's what I expect from this team if we're going to be one of those playoff teams. 
That's my expectation. Now, all of my prediction and my expectation is the same thing. We win. One is going to be a tough win. We're pulling teeth in the prediction. One is going to be a blowout in the expectation. As far as my preference, this is where, this is where my preference of how we win is going to be different from the expectation and the prediction. My preference is that Dak just obliterates this team with his arm. I said that. All right, as you saw, the lights went out on me. So I'm sorry about that. You know, that's what happens. That's what happens when you're not prepared. <sighs> anyway, so my preference, right? I want to see Dak win this game with his arm. I want to see him defeat and obliterate the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with his arm talent or <laughs> their lack thereof. But I, I really just want to see Dak somehow shut me up, help Mark Holmes in his argument, and, and, and we get rolling into that playoff. Am I a believer in Dak? I believe in Dak. Do I think he has the talent? He's shown glimpses of it, but just fundamentally the way he throws in the pocket, he doesn't step up in the pocket with confidence to let it go. He's been thrown on his back foot a lot too many times. He's too inaccurate. I reviewed, or I reviewed, I viewed that one video with Law Nation where he, uh, Law Nation, you're awesome, man. You do really great narratives or voiceovers, whatever we call it. Great stuff. I love the way you break it down. I love how you're objective when it comes to the Dak situation. However, Law Nation killed that video. That boy missing left and right. And I'm just like, bruh, bruh, you just got hit. You just got hit the dude. He wide open. The receivers are getting open. Dak is missing him. So my, my preference in this victory is I want to see Dak take over this game and win it for us. I mean, is that too much to ask for? Is that too much? Is that, is that, Cowboy Jon Snow, is that too much to ask for for Dak Prescott to beat the Tampa Bay, the Tampa Bay, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with his arm? No answer? Cowboy Jon Snow doesn't have an answer for me. Anyway, um, since uh, I just want to address something. As far as this page is concerned, I'll make Cowboy videos periodically. If I can do them daily, I will. Um, as far as what I want from people that watch this, these videos and the new subscribers that I have, yo, this message is to, towards you. I want y'all to keep me honest, keep me objective. If I ever weigh in one, in one side and I'm too biased, come after me, let me know. You know, I don't want to become, uh, like these YouTubers where they become all sensitive about somebody's opinion. I want to hear all of your opinions. If you want to leave a comment in my comment section, Best believe I will respond. I will be a part of the comment section and engage in it. A big part of YouTube is the comment section. And if you neglect it, like these other YouTubers, then you're just going to lose your connection with the people. So uh, I, I want y'all to keep me accountable for the videos I make. Um, I think I have a responsibility in remaining objective. I came in hot doing that and I want to stay that way. So if I ever vary in, in one way, call me out on it. And if I could somehow understand your point. I might, I'll adjust or whatever the case may be, but I want to be as open and transparent as possible. I do want to respond to Mark Holmes, though. I saved it for the end of the video because it seems like he saves it for the end of his videos to address me. Uh, he said in his live stream last night that he won't bring me on the show because I called him out and I insulted him. As a matter of fact, I never insulted him. Uh, as far as joining your show, I said if you wanted to bring me on the show or if you wanted to have a conversation, we could really agree to disagree and, and hash out that, that conversation whichever way. And the only reason I said that is because I cared about your channel. Now, if you're going to be sensitive about the stuff, be sensitive about it. But l just dead it, man. You ain't got to bring me up no more. It's cool. Ain't nobody hurt here. I ain't sensitive at all. So this has been your boy TGK. Leave the comments in the comment section. I'm going to interact with all you and any videos y'all want to see coming through. I'll, 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 I'll make sure I drop them. Tomorrow, I'm going to be shooting the 100 sub episode. I'm going to vlog all day. I'm going to show you what my day is like here in Dallas, Texas. I'm going to do a video on this local radio station here, 105.3 The Fan. How I think they need to realign their, their station. I'm going to make a video on the Cowboys post game. My immediate reaction to the stuff. So I got a lot of stuff coming down the line. Check me out. It's your boy TGK. 
I ain't going to ask you to subscribe, I ain't going to ask you to like, and I ain't going to ask you to hit that notification bell, but I'm going to ask you to subscribe, I'm going to ask you to like, and I'm going to ask you to, all right, I ain't going to ask you to do that shit. Oh, Power Rangers though. I'll catch you on the next one.